Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Our summer holidays are beginning. Oh yes. So tonight we are staying at the Hilton London Gatwick, which is located in South Terminal. Now we've stayed in most hotels around this airport, a first for us to stay at this particular Hilton. So come with me, let's explore and see what it's all about. It's gonna be awesome, I hope. But before we go any further, please do show your support by giving this video a cheeky little like, subscribing and turning on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, threads and now over on Patreon. So we've stayed at the short stay uh, car park, which is North Terminal, uh, a very short walk from the car park and you arrive at the monorail, which will take you to South Terminal. It's free to use. Ooh, look how fast he's going. Just a couple of minutes on this, thank goodness, quite busy. So just before the walkway that connects South Terminal to the Hilton Hotel, I just wanted to show you what's around here. Uh, you've got a Weatherspoons restaurant and bar. There's a Costa. Yes, I've got my iced coffee. Uh, a giraffe restaurant up there as well. Uh, WH Smith and also uh, Marks and Spencer Simply Food. Oh, and a Boots. You didn't really think I was going anywhere without an iced coffee, did you? Did you? There we are. Right, we're going to take one of these lifts to the first floor and left when you come out of the lift and straight on. I'd say it's about a five minute stroll from the terminal. And here we are. Sounds busy, actually. All right, let's get checked in. Floor two, 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 four, five. Well, first impressions, quite corporate. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't say that as an insult. And here we are, two, two, four, five. Let me go. Please do work. <laughs> ah. All right, welcome. This is a standard twin room. First thing I've noticed as you come in, this one big round button actually operates all the lights in one go. So one touch will have everything off. We like it like that, don't we? As you come into the left, you've got a mirror. It's not a um, floor to ceiling length one, but it'll do, it'll do. And right underneath, we've got a UK socket. Please don't put your fingers in there, folks. Et voila, the bedroom area. So as I said, this is a twin room, but these single beds are good size, actually. Uh, look out, I am more than likely gonna roll off and fall down there in the middle of the night. I will try my best not to. Either side of these good size beds, we've got uh, a little table. There's two UK sockets down here and a USB port. Thank you for that, Hilton. What I will say about this room, very clean, spacious, comfortable, I think. No wall art, it's very clinical, very corporate. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The only piece of wall art I can see is this gorgeous plane. No, I don't know what kind it is. Maybe you do, drop your comments below. Uh, we've got AC unit here, don't actually need it at the moment. It's a perfect temperature. And I'm assuming the other side of this bed, yeah, there you go, another table. We've got our telling bone, um, a reading lamp either side as well, I should have mentioned that before, plus two more UK sockets and a USB port. Good workstation over here, actually, folks. Um, more sockets, more USB port. Oh, do we have a nice spinny retro chair? I love a spinny retro chair. Yes! Sorry, I'm, I know I'm childish. Uh, what can I do about that? This TV, good size. Look at that, that's a lot of inches in it, folks. <laughs> Definitely good floor space here. We popped one of our bags under this unit. That tucks away nicely. You've got this shelf here, which I assume you're gonna pop your luggage on as well, or underneath, not bad. You're definitely not gonna get your luggage under those beds. I mean, you could try, but I'm not sure it would fit in that space there. Alrighty, let's check out the wardrobe space. Oh, that's dark. I wonder if there's an automated light in here. No, there's not actually. That's really dark, isn't it? Um, so you've got some hanging space. There's a hairdryer here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, we do have an ironing board, which is falling out. Holy macaroni! Don't worry, I haven't been injured. We've got an iron over here, um, some 
coffee and tea facilities. Can you see that? Can you? Probably not. That's how dark it is. That's not very good, is it, actually? Um, we've got full fat coffee, decaf, there's all sorts of tea there. Oh, pure peppermint. UHT milk, mugs, glasses. Right underneath, we've got a safe and a fridge as well. Anything in there? Damn, no. Hair dry test, setting number one. Holy hell, that's hot as well. Anyone with longer hair? Don't you worry. This hair dryer has got you covered. And more storage space up here. Well, that is dark AF and I got attacked by an ironing board. You did see that, didn't you? Hmm? I might sue them. And just opposite the wardrobe, we have the bathroom. What are we gonna find in here? Ah, oh, it's a Matthew on the toilet. Not actually doing anything on the toilet, are you? No. Sitting waiting. Who for? You. To do what? Film. Film. Sorry about that. Off he goes. Look. In you go. In you go. <laughs> Paul Matthew. Hashtag Paul Matthew. Um, this is quite a nice looking bathroom, actually. Quite corporate. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that any more times? Quite corporate. This good size mirror. Nice tiles around. Ooh, Crabtree and Evelyn products. Someone told me off in a previous vlog when I said I've never heard of them. They said, but they're really posh. Didn't know that. Plenty of shelf space here around the sink basin. We've got our towels. Oh, actually, they're quite soft. That's very nice. Toilet for your one cheek, two cheek, rah, rah, rah. And we've got a bathtub, hurrah. And shower now. How many people are we gonna get in there? I think two and a half there, folks. More Crabtree products up there. Conditioner, shower gel, and shampoo. Thank you, Hilton. Not forgetting, of course, your shaving point. And there you have it. That is a standard twin room. Oh my God, what's that? A pair of legs hanging out. At the Hilton, London Gatwick. Oh, you've taken that bed then, have you? Yeah, I normally lie on this side. Do you? Yeah. All right, okay. Is it comfy, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's big. You get about three Matthews just on one look. I reckon. Now then, this room comes with complimentary water. It's not complimentary, you paid for it. I'll tell you about the price in a minute. Room service menu, available 12 till 10. A tray charge of five pounds will be added to your bill. Um, anything take your fancy there, folks? I don't know, it's not bad actually. Prices, I would suggest, are comparable to hotels of this range, certainly um, near an airport. You can also get drinks delivered to your room. Of course, soft drinks, bottled beers, gin, vodka, rum, whiskey, champagne, sparkling wine, white wine, rosé, and red. Bob's your uncle and Petunia, your auntie. If you'd like a wake up to breakfast breakfast, then complete this before 2 a.m., hang it outside your room, Choose your time. Cook breakfast is £19.50. All the usual gubbins there, really, folks. But one thing you need to be aware of is that it's going to cost you £6 per person on top of that cost to have that delivered, unless you have a bed and breakfast package, in which case it's just £5 extra. Holy macaroni. Now then, you want to know about the ka don't you? Well, £185 for the night. It's a Saturday, so what? Uh, it's also officially the start of the school holidays in the summer here in the UK. And I think that has boosted prices. And actually, other hotels in the area are equally as expensive. The only place that was less uh, was actually the Premier Inn or an inside, i.e. no windows room at the Block Hotel. So quite pricey this time of year. However, we are on holiday and we are gonna enjoy ourselves. Let's go and explore the rest of the hotel. I know there's a bar down there and have a look at the restaurants as well. Right, so we have Amy's Bar open 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. serving lunch and evening tapas. Mmm, that could be interesting. The garden restaurant is where you'll get your breakfast, which is a buffet style, and they also serve dinner. Just opposite the concierge check-in desk, there is a coffee shop, but it doesn't look like it's been open for some time, unfortunately. Let's check out the rest of this place. Now, this is Amy's. Now, it's quite cavernous in here and echoey and noisy, 
but the bar itself does look quite nice. Definitely been refurbed, I think, more recently. It's good look. So we've just walked through Amy's bar, which seems to do food. This is the restaurant, but unfortunately, it's not open, which is a shame. Down this escalator, it should take us to the garden restaurant. Quite an odd layout, actually, isn't it? So that's Charlie Fry's Sports Bar. And over here, we've got the garden restaurant. A quick peep inside of the garden restaurant. So the menu for the garden restaurant is exactly the same as the in-room dining menu. Look what I found. Cheers, Matthew. Happy holidays. Ooh. Pinot Grigio. Tastes absolutely like Pinot Grigio. A peep at the all-day dining at Amy's Bar. I'm really pleased to say they're actually serving paninis and tapas. And a look at the tapas menu as well. Now, my students know exactly what tapas means, don't you? It means lids. Right, we are clever. We're having a little bit of tapas at Amy's Bar, and then we'll head down to the sports bar for, well, more food. As far as tortilla española goes, that looks quite good. Look, it smells really good. Hmm. Actually, that's quite authentic. I'm really surprised. It tastes really good. Next up, Charlie Fry's Sports Bar for another drink and more food. Over here, you've got the garden restaurant. Here is Charlie Fry's Bar. I imagine many of you are saying, what on earth is he doing in a sports bar? I know, it's not like me. And Charlie Fry's is not actually on their website at the moment, which is a bit weird. They need to update that. That's quite cool. Cricket bat. We are table 10. Thank you, Matthew. Cheers. Happy holidays. Matthew, a lot of people online, since we did our interview, have been asking if you're going to appear more in the vlogs. No. No? Why not? What am I going to say? Um, what's your impression of this hotel for, uh, so far? Pretty average, it's a Hilton chain, quite corporate. You're not allowed to say corporate, I've said corporate about a hundred okay, times. Well, it is corporate. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, that's what I said. God, we're, I'm going to get dragged now on the internet for saying that. You know that, don't you? Holy shawarma, that's a big margarita. Looks good. Cider breaded halloumi with chili. Big boy burger for Matthew, actually. It's quite a small patty, but it looks good. What's the verdict? All right. <laughs> not the best, not the worst. You're not going to get much more from Matthew, are you? Not the best, not the worst. That, that sums it up. Though. Yeah. Kind of typical of a hotel burger. My turn. I'm not sure how to eat this. Just shove it in, basically, isn't it? Um, I think I like that a little bit more than all right. I think it's good. Um, I particularly like the onion chutney. A little bit of sweetness to it. I think it's good. The all-important fries test, of course. Okay, they're actually really nice. Really well seasoned. Uh, nice and crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Winner. I think I'm going to make a mess of that one. <laughs> No one wants to see me try and shovel stringy cheese in my mouth, do they? And in for the win. Alright, that base is actually really nice. Quite thin, crispy on the outside. And the cheese, ooh, really creamy, moorish. Love the tomato base. That's actually really good. Very good pizza. The other reason this is the win for the night is it's a tenner, it's ten pounds, it's massive, it's delicious. Matthew, repeat what you just said to me. It's better than I thought it would be. Right, now that is actually high praise from Matthew. Yeah, he's mellowing. Now then, Matthew does make a good point on this particular occasion, doesn't normally. This pizza will cost you five pounds more if you sit the other side of the gate for the privilege of someone um, taking your order at your table. I think I'd rather be this side of the gate. All right, well, that was a very pleasant evening, actually. Enjoyed that. Um, if you are not fancying dinner at the hotel, fear not. As I showed you earlier, 
in the uh, London Gatwick terminal, you've got a range of restaurants there, although the prices aren't actually that different to what you get downstairs. Uh, so choose wisely. Alrighty, we are back in our room. Must say this bed is super comfy. Kind of medium firmness, if that means anything. Nice pillows that envelop your face. Look, it's gorgeous, look. At this Hilton, there are a wide range of rooms from standard, deluxe, family, accessible, and also a range of suites. Alrighty, in summary, I do like this hotel. The rooms are a good size, they're clean, they're comfy, and actually very quiet. I like the communal areas as well, uh, even though they're a little bit cavernous and you saw that in Amy's and you heard uh, quite a lot of echo, quite noisy in there. But nonetheless, uh, very nice service, good range of drinks, and we really enjoyed the food in Amy's, the tapas, and in the sports bar, I thought the pizza was very good and good value as well. Another positive, the location. Uh, within walking distance of London Gatwick Airport, you can't beat that, can you folks? Oh no. Main drawback for me really is the price and it's not normally 185 pounds uh, for a standard room for one night for two people, it's not. I've seen it much cheaper before. Unfortunately, as I've said, it's the beginning of the summer school holidays. Uh, we're trapped with prices. However, um, I think if this came up again for a more reasonable price, we would definitely consider staying here. However, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Have you stayed here before? Have you enjoyed it? Anything you want to mention below? Uh, would you stay here perhaps for uh, a more reasonable price? As always, thank you so much for watching. Good to see you all. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, Patreon, and a YouTube. A big shout out and thank you to patrons Gaynor, Mike, Sean, Alison, Matt, Stephanie, Alan, Melissa, Liz, Dave, Kelly, KM Cooper, Charles, Kevin, Lisa, Liz Dyson, Alan, Paul, Tim, and the Travelling Hatter. See you the next time as we fly from London, UK to Florida to join Morella Discovery and our North American cruise.